Thanks to Hum Nutrition for sponsoring this video. I recently moved back to my mom's, which has been an adjustment to say the least. It's also brought back a lot of memories growing up in the suburb, one of which has been how much my relationship with food has changed. In high school, I used to go through periods where I would obsess over what I ate, how much I exercised, and attempts to be what I thought was fit and healthy. I'd follow strict diets, thinking it was good for me, but all it did was damage my relationship with food. So much has changed since those years without me even noticing because all the steps were so minuscule on their own, but they've led me to a much more balanced place where I'm learning to eat more intuitively, observing what portions, foods, and timing feels best for my body, rather than just going along with what other people tell me to do or what my family does. Although I eat plant-based, what I eat changes wherever I go, so I thought it'd be fun to show you what I've been eating living back at home, especially since my mom has some pretty creative inventions. Her latest concoction is the hot soy milk beetroot smoothie, and it's actually so delicious and easy to make since you don't even need a soy milk machine. You can prepare several batches ahead of time just by soaking a cup or two of dried soybeans overnight. Pre-soaking them helps to reduce the cooking time, so when you do pop them into boiling water, it should only take about 20 to 30 minutes before they begin to soften and lose their raw taste. After you drain them, you can jump into beverage making right away or if you're storing them for the week ahead, my mom likes to put them into small Tupperwares in the freezer. If you're planning to finish everything in a day or two, you can also just put them in your fridge directly. And we also had some extra beets lying around in the fridge which were just boiled and cut into chunks for storing. I also decided to microwave the beans because I wanted my beverage extra hot. And whenever I'm hungry, I just grab a handful of unsalted nuts to munch on. Cashews are my favorite because they are the creamiest and most filling, which you will see again later in dinner time. After putting the soybeans and beets into the blender, you can just fill up the water to the level of consistency that you would prefer and then blend away. There you have it. It's warm and subtly sweet while also being very filling and more fibrous and protein dense than a regular glass of soy milk. Whenever I start my day with this bright pink beverage, I just feel so happy. It's pretty good. Do you want to try it? It makes me feel full without treading near the territory of lethargy, which is usually what happens when I follow my family's breakfast diet of eating bread or steamed buns. Everyone's body is different, so it's very important to pay attention to what feels best for you. One of my goals this year was to be more consistent with taking supplements and also finding the ones that work best for me. So recently I started trying Hum Nutrition, which uses non-GMO, clean, and clinically proven nutrients. Right now I'm taking Gut Instinct, which is a 10 strain probiotic with 25 billion organisms to help build an optimal gut diversity, which is not only beneficial to your digestive system, but also your immune system and your overall health. Because fun fact, last Last year I learned that your gut microbiome health also impacts your mood so this year I really want to send some extra love to my gut and then I'm also taking daily cleanse which has green algae, spirulina, matcha, beetroot powder all these ingredients help to support the body's natural ability to filter out toxins whereas the antioxidants and minerals help to support your largest organ your skin as well as your kidney bowels lungs and lymphatic system and last but not least I'm taking Hair Sweet Hair, the berry gummies, which actually tastes so amazing. It's kind of hard to come by a really good vegan gummy, but these ones are so good and I have to hold myself back from not popping them like candy. But the main reason I chose these is because they are formulated with B12, which is a really essential supplement to a vegan diet. Aside from that, there's also zinc, folic acid, biotin, which is really good for your hair, your skin, and your nails. And my nails have developed some ridges on them, which can be a sign of B12 deficiency, but thankfully, I have not forgotten to take 
daily B12 thanks to this vitamin gummy form. They are so good. But aside from these supplements, they have way more on their website that target specific needs from vaginal health to winter mood boosting with vitamin D3. So if you want to try them out, make sure you head on over to humnutrition.com where you can do a three minute quiz to get a personalized result for what you should take based off of your specific goals. And they can even connect you with a registered dietitian that you can email anytime with questions regarding your vitamins and supplements. So they got you covered on all bases. Around two hours after light breakfast, I like to have lunch. I saw this new dumpling at the Asian grocery store, so I really want to try them out. And man, the packaging is very organized. The filling is corn and pine nuts, which I've never had before, so this should be interesting. I don't know if you can tell, but the dumplings are actually super tiny in size and the wrappers look pretty light and delicate. Oh my god, it's really good. I've never had dumplings with corn in it, but wow. If you wanna try it, it's really good. Corn and pine nuts. Touch your back. Tonight I am cooking for my family and I'm freestyling a recipe that I saw on Instagram. I'm kind of just winging it with the ingredients that I do have. You want to start off by soaking a bowl of cashews in hot water and then preheating your oven to 450 before cutting up your vegetables for the roast. So we're making a roasted red pepper pasta sauce. It's super creamy with the cashews and very flavorful with all of the ingredients we're about to put in. I'm adding in a zucchini even though it's not included in the recipe, but honestly, add whatever you have. But most importantly, add your garlic and your onions. We also have some mushrooms that we need to get rid of, so I'm sauteing them on the side along with some Beyond Meat vegan sausages. For the pasta, I am boiling rigatoni, which is like a thicker, wider, bigger version of penne, and I just think it tastes better and holds on to sauce really well too. Once you see the vegetables start to char at the tips, which is maybe like 20-30 minutes, you can take that out. Then to make the sauce, we are going to put the cashews and all of the roasted vegetables into the blender, along with some spices. Whatever you have, I'm using lots of herbs and Italian seasoning, as well as sun-dried tomatoes. And there you have a super creamy plant-based sauce. You can use this for any type of pasta or dipping sauce, maybe with like potato wedges. We had so much left over, I was eating it for like the rest of the week and honestly not complaining because it tastes so good. I felt very nicely carved up after this dinner, so I didn't get hungry after, but on those nights when you're just not so full after a little while, I like to snack on some fruits. So on this particular night, I found some Asian pear and clementines in the fridge. So I'm cutting some up for myself and for my mom before heading upstairs to catch up on a new show and end the night on a nice light little snack. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tag me if you try any of the recipes. Thanks for watching and thank you Hum for sponsoring this video.